and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing one more episode of Scenario Editor for Dummies, a series I haven't done in quite some time. And uh, well, today, uh, what will I talk about? I will talk about the uh, chance trigger. So, if you ever wanted to um, have some sort of randomness in your scenarios, um, you can uh, implement that easily using the chance. Um, chance trigger. Um, and I built a small scenario here, it's a little RPG, but you can of course also use it for a fixed force, build and destroy or any other uh, kind of map, um, just to show you the um, capabilities of the chance um, condition. Okay, so um, I will just first explain those triggers and then I will demonstrate them to you. So I will just start with clear rocks, which is uh, quite a easy one. So um, as long as the hero is in this area, um, there's also a timer running also um, as well, and there's a chance of 25% to remove those rocks. So uh, important to note is um, that the chance trigger actually behaves like it's um, looped. So it will check um, if it is uh, if the chance uh, um, condition is fulfilled. So in 25% of the cases it is, in 75% of the cases it is, is not. It is not, and is it will check that again right away without um, uh, yeah waiting or stopping to, to check because um, well basically it works just like uh, bring object to area so uh, this um, condition checks every second is there a unit in this area is there a unit in this area and so on um, same goes for chance only that it is uh, kind of uncomfortable because in most cases you only want it to be checked once and if it is um, indeed um, it should activate, then it should activate, and if it shouldn't activate, it should not activate and not check again. But um, I'll show you a few workarounds around this special um, capability. So, um, oh, what was it? okay, there's a 25% uh, urge that those rocks will get uh, cleared, and um, this trigger is not looped, but as I already explained, it will check again and again. So, um, as long as your uh, hero is in this area and the two seconds passed, um, yeah, the rocks will disappear. So, next stop is here this monastery. Um, and you will get a random buff or two or even three random buffs as soon as you move into this um, road uh, terrain area. So uh, this once again is quite uh, simple. There's just a chance of 35%. And once again, you need to bring uh, the unit into that area. And then it will change the object's attack, health, and armor, depending on which trigger uh, triggered. But um, something is different here because um, to prevent that the unit gets buffed again and again, and uh, like at some point has 25,000 HP, uh, 700 ATK, and like 300 armor. Um, there's also a deactivator here, and you will need the deactivator in most um, triggers containing chances. You didn't need it here, because once the rocks are gone, nothing will happen here. So, rocks are gone, this trigger is, um, is done. But, um, yeah, in order to... Um, work properly here, there is a deactivator and it has the same conditions as the three uh, blessing triggers, only uh, that it deactivates blessing attack, blessing health and blessing armor. So coming to the next trigger is an ambush, so if you get into this area, so if you hear a unit, once again a unit, um, is in this area here. <coughs> Then there's a chance of 
50% that 3 minute arms will spawn and those will start attacking you as play 2 is your opponent so this once again is quite uh, yeah, simple and also the um, the activator here as soon as you're you know you're moved into this area it will deactivate the ambush trigger but because the ambush is in the list comes before ambush deactivator first ambush will be um, yeah will be solved and after that ambush deactivator will start to work uh, yeah so there is a 50% chance that there are um, some units spawning and then I'm coming to the most uh, advanced trigger in this scenario so um, it is actually a teleportation trigger I think I will also uh, do another video about um, how to use the teleportation trigger um, effect properly because it is uh, quite complicated to be uh, honest well at least you need to know one two tricks um, in order for it to work properly and um, yeah so here's a cave entrance and as soon as you enter that cave entrance you will get teleported to one of these three uh, exits of the cave so either you will land in a forest a desert or um, a snow covered uh, landscape more or less and yeah so let's take a look at how this is working so first of all of course you got a chance so that this is actually a little bit uh, mathemat mathematically so um, prepare for that but I will explain why I used which numbers so it should be easily easy to understand so um, first of all I want to have a even distribution so in every third case the hero should spawn here or here or here good um, so uh, they got a 33 percentage here then once again we need the hero in this area of otherwise of course it wouldn't make any sense to teleport a hero to a cave exit when he hasn't entered the cave yet then we got the teleport object itself so it will teleport all which should declare hero units which this unit is um to yeah this first one is the desert trigger um and which will also change view so you actually know where here your it gets uh, teleported to and run it just confused where your hero went and also you, the hero just stopped so it doesn't continue walking and here you deactivate first of all you deactivate the trigger cave one itself and you will also deactivate cave two and cave three because um yeah, as soon as your hero had entered, has entered the cave here and um, exited here, you don't want the other triggers to continue running because you already have taken the route one time and uh, you don't really uh, want to repeat that. So um, you um, want to make sure that at least one of these three options um, is triggered but also not more than one because um, yeah of course you only have one hero so you only want to transport the hero one, one time you don't need to yeah, use multiple of those triggers at once here so um, now we're getting to the strange numbers it seems the second chance trigger is actually 50% and the rest is pretty much the same and the third one is on 100% so um, to quickly explain why I choose those numbers is um, well you have wants to have a even distribution of um, one third of the time you will land here the other third of the time you will land here and the third uh, third of the time you will um, land here in the south so in the first trigger of course you will need a 33 percent chance because there are three uh, possible outcomes and you want yeah, in every third case this uh, outcome was the wished one so you got these 33 percent chance um, okay so but as soon as 
he, this trigger didn't, so the 33% chance didn't um, fulfill the requirement, so um, we were one of these 66 cases out of 100, or 67 cases I should say, where it didn't teleport to the desert, so we continue with uh, cave 2, um, and then we got still two options left, so either in the east or in the in the south. Um, okay, so um, there are two options, so it's basically 50% um, because you want to uh, uh, you want the hero to appear in one of those two places. So um, yeah, 50% is the logical choice here. Um, and then continuing with the third one, here we actually got a 100% chance. I could also just leave that out, but I uh, put it in to just explain it a little bit better. Because, um, yeah, if the hero didn't land in this cave, and if the hero didn't land in this cave, um, well, you sure do, don't want the hero to stay here, so you will have to teleport him here. So it uh, doesn't matter the, the chances, so as long as the first two options didn't work out, he has to land in the third spot. So it's um, just as simple as that. But before we forget that, I'll just quickly demonstrate the scenario. So let's just test it now. And let's see. Okay, so what they would just declare here, walking up to the rocks. Now we need to wait, to wait, and there you go. Now let's continue to the monastery. And we got actually a few HP, but no a, a attack and no armor. So walk into the next event. There are three uh, minute arms. But thanks to our bonus HP, we have not the slightest problem to uh, kill of those, and Green actually converted one of those uh, units. And now we'll try the teleport. So we get transported to the south here. Also, which is uh, quite nice about the teleport trigger is if you modified your units, so in this case I brought my Richard Declare up to 500 HP. Um, he keeps those stats changes, and also if he was damaged, he has uh, keeps his damage, and so on. So before I end this video, though, I still need to mention something, which is um, um, yeah, well, slightly uh, interesting. Well, it's slightly, it, it's it's really quite interesting, but not really if you uh, are. A beginner at well but before I end the video at this <coughs> so I think now you got an idea how these triggers are looking like and how are they how they are working out um, but before I end this video at this point I would uh, still like to mention something I uh, well, stumbled uh, upon stumbled over when doing this video, so so just one more fact. Um, actually, the um, the system I just uh, taught you about uh, the 33, uh, 50, and 100 percent for the three cave uh, exits is more or less equal distributed, but um, for some reason, still the uh, 100 percent. So the third outcome is twice as usual to appear than the first outcome. Um, but from a purely logical standpoint, I think my um, system should be correct. So I guess this is due to the um, kind of random number generation, because uh, to all who are not fam um, familiar with that, there is no real true random number generation. Um, at least it's always a in order to make a compromise between real randomness and um, amount of work you want to put in that. So um, how much um, of your PC's resources get allocated to ge generating really uh, random numbers. So in most cases, is most cases those are pseudo-random numbers um, generated via the system time or some other variables I'm not uh, 
I don't know about right now. So um, I guess that uneven, more, more or less uneven distribution um, is due to the random number generator, but um, in this case I will really have to mention another YouTube channel who does um, the Age of Empires 2 mathematics stuff way better than I can do. Uh, so maybe this could be part of a future Spirit of the Law video. Um, so, I think I mentioned most of the points I wanted to talk about now. So, as always, if you have any questions, anything hasn't been quite clear, maybe you would like to have the map to try it out yourself, to take a further look at the triggers, you have more uh, questions why I set triggers the way I did. Um, just feel free to leave me a comment, um, let me know what did I do good, what uh, did I not do so well, what do I need to explain better. Um, yeah, I guess you know what I um, would like to say here. So, um, yeah, I think this was all for today. As always, thank you very much for watching and um, see you in the next video. Bye.